become a property millionaire, buy a property, refurbish it, refinance it, pull all your money out and buy another one. Fantastic. And we're going to show you how to do it. Wrong. I think there are problems with this strategy and I'm going to tell you now why. Hi, it's Prime here from Niche Advice. Hope you're well. Please do like and subscribe as always. Right, we're going to talk about buy, refurbish and refinance strategies. Um, this is a very popular topic right now on YouTube with a lot of very prominent property people um, advocating for, for this type of strategy. And yes, there are people that have made good money out of this and it is a viable strategy. It is, it is a strategy that people, don't, people have done very well, but it's a strategy that I think is a very dangerous one in this current climate, okay? Now, the reason for that is when it's an upward trend, you can buy cheap, you can add value, and you can pull out your assets, uh, you know, pull, pull out your equity, sorry. But the, the point, the point that they're missing, you know, the point that, you know, in the heading, it's buy, refurbish, refinance, take on more debt. That's what it means, take on more debt, okay? Now, the problem is with that is if you are not experienced or you don't have um, the assets behind you or the income behind you, you're loading yourself up, okay? You are, so it is a viable strategy um, long term, as long as you can back it up when things go wrong, as long as you can back it up when the tenants not paying, as long as back it up when if down valuation happens. Uh, a lot of the people that are looking to pull that money out, a lot of down valuations happening on remortgages at the moment. So that's causing them problems. But, and also it really depends on where you're looking to buy these properties, okay? Now, uh, the phenomenon around around these type of transactions that are happening, a lot of them are happening with lower value properties in the Midlands or up north, okay? So you're buying a property maybe for 70K, um, you're doing, I don't know, spending 16 grand on it, it's now valued at 120, and then you're looking to refinance that, pull all your money out, okay? So, um, and it, it does work, you know, there's hundreds of people on YouTube that are doing this and doing this very successfully. Uh, and I'm not against the strategy, don't get me wrong. What I'm against is not giving all the facts around this strategy. Now, there are a couple of issues around this. One, um, as you are loading up and uh, taking your money out, um, you're becoming more and more indebted, okay? That's a fact, okay? Now, I know there are people that will say, is there's good debt, there's bad debt, you know, and essentially your, your debt is backed up by rent, okay? The rental income that you're gonna receive for cash flow, and you know, you're getting a lot more income rather than, um, uh, rather, rather than the mortgage payment, so it makes sense. And that does make sense if you're gonna carry on receiving that income long term, okay? So it really comes down to, um, you know, we are going through a huge, huge change in the next three to four years, okay? Our fundamental way of working and society is going to change. The way uh, people are employed is changing, okay? Um, the way people have taken on debt has changed. Everything's relaxed, cheap money, everywhere's cheap. Now, that's for you as landlords, but also for the tenants, okay? Now, we're talking, let's look ahead in a year's time. We're not talking about right now with the government furlough schemes and the payment holidays and, you know, you can't kick tenants out and you can't do this and you can't do that. Those things are probably going to be gone by then. Okay, so you're probably sitting on assets that are maybe you've had to take a five year fixed mortgage for to get the right rental calculation to get that money out. Okay, um, and you've got these tenants that you're relying for them to pay you money. Now, a lot of those people that are advocating these type of strategies, they're pretty young. Okay, they're pretty young, which is good on them because they've made good money out of it. They've got a lot of properties out there and they've done very, very well. They haven't gone through that crash. They haven't owned assets, or they haven't seen people that have owned assets, maybe even being very close to it, that have actually, those assets have gone pop. So, you know, 
that's why I say it's a very good strategy to take on debt. You know, back in before the last crash in 2007-8, you know, I was doing mortgages and people were doing, taking on all sorts of debt, okay, because you can get a mortgage like this very, very easily, okay, and a lot of people that got mortgages shouldn't have got mortgages. The difference is they did very well out of it because the property prices stayed stable. So although the whole wild market went mad and the mortgage market went bad and recession happened and all sorts of things, properties stayed stable. Okay, And a lot of the activity that was happening was very much central London focused. So a lot of London, um, a lot of people around London were buying properties and those assets have gone up in value dramatically, right? hugely. Okay, So they did very, very well because property prices stayed stable people relatively stayed in their jobs and there was a lot of demand in London. Everybody wanted to live in London, okay? Um, so that's fine. But is the same thing gonna happen in, you know, when the market happens and the tenants stop paying and there's problems, you know, are you gonna get that type of demand in, in Blackpool, in, in, in other places, okay? So you've gotta look at that. Right now it makes sense. Right now you're pulling your money out. Right now the property is valued at what it's valued. But if you look at the historical, what was that property valued eight years ago? Okay, what was that property value? At the end of the day, you bought it for 70K six months ago. Okay, so let's say, what was it valued a year ago or two years ago? And what happens if these tenants stop drying out? They, you know, they lose their jobs. How is that? Are you going to go in the DSS sector? Is that what you're going to deal with? So what I'm saying is the strategy itself is not the problem. The problem is the people that are taking that strategy and gearing themselves up without adequate advice, without a balanced approach of, you know, look, guys, um, you know, you're taking this debt on. Uh, why you fixed everything for five years? Why don't you keep some liquid cash on this? So if you want to remortgage, maybe remortgage uh, uh, two years, you have some access to money. You may want to sell one. You may want to have, so don't get yourself tied up in, in a five year just because you want to pull all your money out, okay? Um, in regards to HMO, HMOs, I think, you know, there are, there are definitely sectors that are going to do well, okay? And don't get me wrong, like I said, this strategy, there are people that are going to buy in good locations that are going to do well, okay? But I would be cautious around loading up on a load of debt in not so desirable areas, um, not so um, desirable tenancies, um, because the potential problem is around the corner, okay? Mix it up, maybe buy some decent assets, buy some ones that are lower end. Um, and you know, if the lower end ones, you know, they're so cheap, the mortgage is affordable. If you've got good income, if you're getting decent income from other properties, then you may you can you, you can afford that. Okay, but but don't load up on everything. Okay, don't you know what the worst thing I want to hear is? You know, I had no properties last year. I've now bought fifteen. Okay, because what you've done is essentially you've loaded that up. Okay, and if there is a blip, and then and we're not talking about a blip. We're talking about a monster problem coming down the road. Yes, the government incentives and all of that, that will finish, you know, whether it's the stamp duty and stuff, there is a recession coming. So what they're not telling you all these people is, there is a recession coming. It's out there, everybody, everybody knows it's coming, okay? And at the moment, the property market is going against it and it's done very, very well. But be cautious, guys. Um, you know, I'm a mortgage broker. I want to, you know, help you guys get loans, okay? But I also want you to be out there and doing remortgages in the future. So uh, that's my two, two pennies worth. If you do like and, uh, and enjoy these videos, do subscribe to the channel. I do really appreciate it. Let me know what you think. If you think I'm talking absolute nonsense and I'm being negative and I'm talking down the market, let me know. If you think um, that the people that are advocating these, they've got the right strategies and and you know, you followed them and you think you're going to be okay, let me know. Um, if you agree with me, let me know. Just, you know, comment, let me know, basically. Because what I want to do is, is revisit this topic, really. And I, I, here's a promise, I suppose. Shall we say this time next year, I'll do a video about how, how things have went and where, where, we, where we are at that time. Uh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, guys. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker 
As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.